Yes, okay, <laughs> great. Hi, everyone. So as all of you guys know, I have been an officer with the Student Judge Organization for two years, and I've been an active participant for four years. And over the years, I've started to notice that SDO has developed some habits in how we run and structure our organization and its officers. So by a show of hands, I'm just curious as to how many of you guys have worked for a company where you either won were unclear about the expectations of your position, or two, were unclear of the expectations of your boss, or your colleagues, or fellow staff. Yeah, yeah I assumed. <laughs> so I have some ideas that will hopefully make our organization a little bit different from those organizations. And what I'm addressing is that due to a lack of communication, some of our officers can feel confused as to what exactly they're responsible for. And this is a problem that I've personally dealt with, and experience others dealing with all the time. And I feel that it is time for a more clear and focused system that allows our officers the ability to understand not only their specific objectives, but their overall objectives of the entire organization. <clears throat> I am proposing that we find a platform that allows us to communicate, plan, and assign all responsibilities in a timely manner and assign project heads to all of our projects that we take on during the academic year. Now the student dance organization takes on a multitude of different projects. And we're lucky enough because of the amount of officers that we have, we never feel too overwhelmed with tasks or things to do. We have done a really good job of dividing out our responsibilities so that we can kind of focus on our own personal projects. However, it's been brought to my attention that some of our officers are a little unclear as to what projects they're responsible for which leaves us at future meetings wondering why there's little progress being made on projects that are rapidly approaching. We need to be clear in our dictation of assignments and projects, and we should have a calendar that shows all upcoming events and that can be accessed by all. No one wants to be blamed for not completing a project that they didn't realize that they were supposed to do. We cannot let the overall image of our organization crumble due to a lack of inter um, due to a lack of communication interpersonally. Staying current, relevant, and up to date with all assignments and everyone's projects will make a clearer, easier, and more focused organization. So, how do we do this? This upcoming year on SDO, there will be a calendar created on Google Docs that is both editable and is up to date. Everyone should be able to access it and you will be required to post on it at least once a week. Now, this isn't to add to a chore on top of laundry and schoolwork or deciding like what to eat for dinner that night. But it's more to act as um, a checkup for the organization to make sure that we're working as diligently as possible and creating the best possible outcomes. Knowing what assignments are coming up and what projects might be discussed at future meetings will allow people to better prepare themselves to share their personal work with the rest of the officers and the organizations at the meetings. Also, it will help us connect as a group. We are often so distant in our very busy lives that we don't get to sit and meet and talk about our work, except for the one meeting that we have each Sunday. Having a communication device where you can write to another officer if you're confused about a project or you're unclear about something will allow for better preparation and a decrease in late or last minute work. The other half of the solution is to clarify all projects for the organization in the beginning of the academic year. Each officer will be given a detailed bio which breaks down their projects, responsibilities, and um, upcoming projects. But some projects are collaborative and some are more group effort. So specifically labeling each project with a project head should clear up any confusion that people may have about what they're supposed or not supposed to do. We are all under this umbrella that is the student dance organization, and essentially, when things go wrong, it represents all of us. If someone is last minute or forgets to prepare for, say, an event, or a lecture demonstration, or possibly tabling in the union, we as an organization suffer, not just that person. It is our job to work together as a team to create quality work so that the organization we all work so hard for can hold the power that it should on campus. So as we launch forward into this school year, take a look at your individual bios and figure out what projects you have upcoming for the year. 
consider putting them onto a calendar so that in two weeks when we collect all personal calendars, we can combine and create one large and hopefully not too overwhelming organization calendar. I'm hoping that you guys are all in support of our group calendar and our overall clear dictation of both projects and assignments for the time being. And if things aren't working out, we'll reassess mid-semester and work together at a new solution. So with that being said, back to our president, which is normally what I'd do if I gave a spiel like that. But thank you. Mm -hmm.